action here hanging backstage with one of the good old friends of the Moondog Coronation Ball, Tommy James. There are no Shondells around at the moment. Well, no, none that are uh, in the building that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> you got to back together with the original Shondells a couple of years ago, I think working on the Christmas album that's and right. you did, some uh, other things. That's right, a Christmas album. And um, uh, also, we are doing, we just did I Think We're Alone, a brand new version of I Think We're Alone now for uh, the movie of our book, Me, the Mob, and the Music. So, you're, so the movie is going to happen, because yes. I heard about the stage musical. Yes, that's after. And you're writing music, original music for that, that's right? That's correct, that's right. And uh, one of the original, one of the members of the Rascals you're working with? Or Gene Cornish, actually, yes. is, is, uh, is writing some music with what is interesting, though, of course, is that uh, the movie and the stage play are two such totally different animals because uh, even though they tell the same story, yeah. uh, the movie is going to be sort of dark and sinister and uh, no. more like the book. And, of course, the stage play is a musical, so it's going to be, you know, you know, the mob guys breaking into song. Yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> doing stage kicks and everything. That's right. Fun. So it's going to be a little more lighthearted. So <laughs> two very different approaches. Yeah. And with the, book, the, the book is called Music, the me, Mob, Me, the Mob, and the Music. Me, the Mob, and the Music. And it's, it's a, a you know essentially an autobiography with about two thirds of it uh, devoted to our very uh, oh I guess you'd call it tumultuous, uh, weird, yeah. and scary relationship with Roulette Records. I was. Worried for you when I found you were going. I found out you were going to write that book. I'm like, these guys yeah. have family still around. Right. I know that most of those guys are gone now. Yeah. But that's so that's why you worried for your safety. I don't see any security. Nothing. There's nobody here. Well, I'm in the witness protection program. I really, you're doing a hell of a job with that. <laughs> going out on stage <laughs> as Tommy James tonight. That's real good. That's right. Well, you know the truth is that uh, uh, I was a little nervous when uh, uh, we started writing the book. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we, we decided we were going to write a book called Crimson Clover. And we were going to uh, write a book about the hits and about writing songs and so forth. And uh, we got about a third of the way into it and realized that, you know, if we don't tell the whole story, meaning the roulette story, that we yeah. were really cheating ourselves and everybody else. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was a little nervous about finishing it because some of these guys were still walking yes. around. Yeah. So you we you, you so, waited the appropriate time and yes. it came out. We gave it we gave it enough time Good. so that uh, when the last of the roulette regulars, as I called them, passed on, yeah. we uh, felt we could finish. The one thing that I've always been impressed with you from the first time we talked, we did we were doing a PBS special and we were talking then, was how connected to Cleveland you are. And watch that word. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What? I think it was Be careful. Connected. Subliminal. You know, <laughs> from us already talking about that. But really, you, your love of Cleveland came out almost immediately. You told me you started, you, you would kind of send records to Cleveland sure. to decide to see if, if it was going to work out for you. Cleveland was always one of those markets that was very independent yeah. and uh, sort of had its own little record business. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm sure that's why they put the Hall of Fame here. Yeah. Um, and also, all the folks too didn't hurt people that we were kind of sending. But well, that's true. Know. That's true. But but what I'm really saying is that um, uh, Cleveland was was located geographically in the perfect place yeah. uh, on Interstate 80. Mm -hmm. So uh, as all the groups would travel on Interstate 80 from Philly to Pittsburgh to Chicago, Cleveland was right there in the middle. Yeah. And um, uh, uh, the upbeat show. Course. Uh, was yeah. right here, so every time we did a concert here, you would do an, at least one upbeat show, yeah. and uh, which was syndicated all over the country. Mm -hmm. And so Cleveland just became very, very important. Uh, of course, the old radio stations, you know, like Wixie, and, and yes, and, and even CKL, CKLW was, was of course sure. here. It almost became From Cleveland Chicago. stage, right? Yeah. So and. Uh, you were on the stage tonight with Family Stone. They played yeah. a little while ago, and you were singing their places, praises on the Lanigan show Absolutely. not too long ago. They're terrific. And, uh, and they played Woodstock. And I yes, we played Woodstock uh, together. No, I heard you almost got to play Woodstock. Well, that's true. What I mean is that uh, uh, two years ago, we all played Woodstock. Again. Oh, did you do? And, yeah. Uh, we were invited, of course, to the of Woodstock. And, and I love that. That's why I brought it's it up. It's a true story. You know, we were told... Uh, 
Yeah, this pig farmer in upstate New York is having a gig. We were in Hawaii. <laughs> and so I'm going to leave paradise and try and play a pig farmer. So, well, I'll tell you what, if we're not there, start without us. And they did. And it was Which was, of course, yeah, Yasker's Farm, by the way. So 43 so, years later, we yeah. made it up the, up the woods. When they got there, I played with the uh, fam stuff. Yeah, and they were excellent tonight. You're going to be yeah. excellent as well. Again, this is like your third or fourth Moondog year. You and Peter are kind of setting the record. Peter Nunes from Herman is setting the record for the most appearances here. Because people want you back. They want familiar. They want people that are different. And then they want new guys like the family. Stone have never done it before. Absolutely. You know, um, what's so great about, you know, I, I these multiple act shows because we don't do that many of them. When we do, uh, it's so we end up having more fun backstage. I think all home week. I know. I see it. And, yeah. and uh, like Peter and uh, uh, of course John Kay. John Kay. I just got to meet him briefly. We're going to go talk to him in a little yeah. while. He's a character. He's, he's a good great. Guy. And he's uh, you know they they still yeah. rock the house, man. Yeah. And they're yeah. as good as they ever. Were. And so do you, my friend. Thank you. And I, I always tell people that your songs take on a different dynamic on stage, they really kind of pop once. Well, you know really some kind of do that a little bit, feels a little different It's and a better. little more intense. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we have to do it better. But it works, it works. Listen, Tommy, thank you again for thank coming you. and doing another Moon Great Dog. Talking. And good luck with the movie. Thank you. And it was, it, you t told me one time Scorsese was thinking about being involved. Is he still well, right now, what, what's happening is that uh, 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 Barbara Dufina, who uh, was married to Martin Scorsese for yes. many years, uh, who produced Goodfellas and Casino right. and oh, the Hugo a couple of years ago with Martin, is producing uh, our movie. So there's a connection. Yes, there certainly is. Okay. And is Sorry, it's a connection. Sorry. And so we are we are really thrilled that she's going to be doing the movie. Right. And things are all coming together really, really beautiful. Because like last time you were here, that was just in the early stages yes. of that, and it's good. And it does take a while to get these projects Listen, off the ground. it sure does. And, and, and you know, it's a wonder anything ever gets made. But truthfully, uh, uh, we're, we're moving along. We're actually kind of ahead of schedule right now. Good. So I'm feeling real good about it. One of your biggest cheerleaders right here. I want to see it Thank happen you. for you, and I want to, and, and I definitely when uh, the movie comes out and when the musical comes through Playhouse sure. Square, I'd love to have you back and, and, and chit chat with you on the Thank radio you. show about that. I'd love Tommy it. James, minus the Shondells for the moment, gonna rock the Moon Dog 2014 stage in just a few minutes. Thanks, friend. Thank you.